وسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في القران المجيد والفرقان الحميد نحن اقرب اليه من حبل الوريد صدق الله العظيم وصدق الرسول والنبيين والمرسلين برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصلوا عليه الصلاه والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى اليك واصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاه والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى اليك يا اصحابك يا حبيب الله من نهايه قبر الاحترام واجب الاحترام بھائیو ساتھیو بزرگو دوستو السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ اللہ رب العزت کا خاص کرم اللہ کا خاص احسان اللہ کی خاص عطا ہے اللہ رب العزت نے ہمیں جمعہ کا دن نصیب فرمایا اور دعا کرتے ہیں اللہ پاک اس جمعہ کے صدقے اللہ پاک ہمارے سبھی کے قبیلے گناہ کو معاف فرمائے آمین جو میں نے قران مجید فرقان حمید کی آیت مبارکہ تلاوت کی اللہ رب العزت مجھے صحیح الفاظ میں بیان کرنے اور آپ کو صحیح الفاظ میں سننے کی توفیق نصیب فرمائے آمین اللہ رب العزت نے قران مجید میں ارشاد فرمایا ونحن اقرب الیہ من حبل الورید یا میرے بندو میں تمہاری شارق سے بھی زیادہ قریب ہوں اللہ رب العزت انسانوں کا جنوں کا بشروں کا حیوانات کا اس دنیا کو پیدا کرنے والا ہے وہی خالق ہے اور وہی مالک ہے وہ دنیا کا نظام اس کے ہاتھ میں ہے جس طرح چاہے وہ چلائے اگر وہ چاہے تو سورج کو مشرق سے نکال کر مغرب میں غروب کر دے اور اگر وہ چاہے تو سورج کو مغرب سے نکالے اور مشرق میں غروب کر دے یہ سارا نظام اس رب العالمین کے ہاتھ میں ہے بے شک اللہ رب العزت نے ہمیں کھانے کے لیے منہ دیا دیکھنے کے لیے آنکھیں دی سننے کے لیے کان دیے چلنے کے لیے ٹانگیں دی کسی چیز کو پکڑنے کے لیے اللہ پاک نے ہمیں ہاتھ دیے ہم اللہ رب العزت کا کس طرح شکر ادا کریں پہلی تو بات ہے شکر کرتے کرتے زبان تو تھک جائے گی مگر ان نعمتوں کا شکر ادا نہیں ہو سکتا فب ائی آلاء ربکما تکذبان اور تم میری کون کون سی نعمت کو جھٹلاؤ گے حضرات محترم اللہ رب العزت کی ربوبیت کا احاطہ کرنا یہ ہمارے بس کی بات نہیں مالک جو ہوتا ہے نا مالک اونر وہ جس طرح مرضی ہے چاہے کرے وہ اس کے اختیار میں اور غلاموں کا کام ہوتا ہے کہ نوکری کرنا ٹوٹی پوٹی عبادت کرنا اب اس کی مرضی ہے کہ وہ ایکسپٹ کر لے اور اس کی مرضی ہے چاہے وہ ریجیکٹ کر لے اس لیے اللہ پاک فرماتا ہے کہ لوگوں تمہیں دور بھاگنے کی ضرورت نہیں ہے میں تمہاری شاہ رگ کے بھی زیادہ قریب شاہ رگ جو ہوتی ہے یہ ہوتی ہے میں اس سے بھی زیادہ قریب بالکل تمہارے نزدیک کہ جب تم مجھے پکارو گے وین یو کولنگ می اللہ آئی ایم نیئر ٹو یو آئی ایم نیئر ٹو یو وین یو سی کولنگ مائی نیم اللہ ون ٹائم آئی کولنگ یور نیم ٹین ٹائم آئی ایم ویری کلوز ٹو یو ویری نیئر ٹو یو ناؤ از اپ ٹو یو وچ وے یو کولنگ دیر ڈفرینٹ ڈفرینٹ وے یو ریڈنگ نماز یو کولنگ دا نیم آف اللہ اکبر یو ڈوئنگ دا ذکر یو کولنگ دا نیم آف اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ You giving the money to the needy people, you calling the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala zakat. You keeping a fasting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that, that, that is the calling the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah say, I am close to you. But the problem is, we thinking that if I calling the name of Allah one time, maybe Allah never listen. Maybe he never give the answer back. Just think about it, if I am calling your name, and you raise the hand or you give the answer back me and you bashar human beings if i am calling your name and your reaction is you giving the answer back think about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you calling the name of allah how many time he give the answer back subhanallah when you say allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this is high 
you can't listen. But when you say my name Allah, hundred times I say to you, oh my person, oh my person, I'm close to you. Some people say, I do dua, you know, last year. Tears coming in my eyes as well. I'm crying as well. I'm emotional as well. But you know, one year passed, Allah never accept any dua. Allah never accept. That is called na shukri. Allah never accept the dua. Allah accept your dua. But Allah knows better. If I accept it, maybe you go problem. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save for you on the day of judgment. You know, Fir'aun and Musa alayhi salam. Musa is a prophet. And Fir'aun is unbeliever. He's enemy of Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam do dua. Oh Allah, kill the Fir'aun. Musa alayhi salam. Nabi, do the dua. And Nabi's dua, every time accept, acceptable in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, demo, demolish Fir'aun. Ghar kar de isko. You know, Nabi maan raha hai. Nabi do the dua. What is the point? Straight away accepted. Yes? But after 40 years, accept the dua. After 40 years. Even his time is came and Fir'aun died. After 40 years. Nabi for begging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dua and accepted after 40 years. He never said. But when we say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you accept it and Allah is there's some time, maybe one year, and what do we say? Oh, oh last year I said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept my dua, Allah never accept. This is our fault. This is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's fault. Always, always, if he's accepted, thank you. If never accepted, still you are the human being and you are the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your responsibility is only one bend on the front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. If, for example, we never bend it in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala go weak. No. If we never bend it, or I never bend it, there's so many persons that bend in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Animals that bend in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what I'm saying for me. So Iman and faith is this one always, always, and always, always, always begging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no someone else. We come to one person and say, you know, I need some dua, which one I read. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the barakah in my health. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the barakah in my shop. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the barakah in my children. What you do? Okay, no problem. You know Aitar Kursi? Yes. Buy the Aitar Kursi five pound and hang it in front of your door. His blessing is going to become. That's it. Actually, there's no blessings. Where the blessings came when you're reading Aitar Kursi yourself. Jabab Aitul Kursi Khud Padenge, Phir Gar Me Blessing Aayegi. Hamne Frame Laga Rakhi Hai, Usi Gar Me, Same Houses, We're Listening The Music As Well, We'll Do The Dance As Well, We're Looking The Dramas As Well, We're Reading The Namaz As Well, There Is A, The Picture, Big Picture Of Kaaba As Well, There Is A Big Chick Picture Of Medina As Well, Where The Blessing Came From. Can You Tell Me Something In The Clean Water? Can You Put The Dirty Water In The Clean Water After The Drink Hai? No. Purity. What is the pure? Make your house pure. Make your heart pure. Hamne sari cheezon ko do do banaya hua hai. Zuban mein lazzat tab aati hai. Aitul kursi tab fayda degi jab aap raat ko sote hue khud recite karenge. Ye to koi tarika nahi hai na ki gale mein tatweez latka liya hai aapne to aap kahenge main bas protected protected ho gayi hu. Quran Majid, kab aap ko blessing dega jab usko padenge. When the Quran Majid give the blessing, when you read the Quran, and from Alif La Mim, last para is Amma. There is no any verse in the Quran that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala say read Quran, read Quran. Allah said understand Quran. What Quran say to you understand? No only read. For example, we are from Pakistan. Other person, other country. Quran is Arabic. 
We are reading Alif Lamin Dalikal Kitabul Arabi. What is the meaning? We don't know. We send the child for the masjid to Imam for half it. Alhamdulillah, my child is finished the Quran. Finished. He understand? Oh, it's no problem. It's okay. Let's finish. That's it. Quran, Quran for understanding. You know the Arabic people when the person reciting Salatu Tarawi or any Salah, Imam, a Sheikh, he is reciting Quran. The pupil is crying from the back. Why? Because they understand what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala saying to us. Remember that day when earthquake came. Maybe when I'm reading, I'm start laughing because we don't know what is the meaning of this. Very soon you go into the grave. Maybe that time I'm going to be laughing. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say to wake up. Oh people, you making the money and start counting. Very soon the day is came when the Israel took your soul out. Maybe I don't know, I'm start laughing. Why the people and the companions and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is crying the whole night. What is the reason? One day, one night, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is leaving his hujra, leaving his room and coming outside. All of the companion is sitting in the masjid the Nabawi. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his eyes is full of tears. The companion replied, Oh Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, why your eyes is red? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Today is the surah, is a zulzilatil ardu zilzalaha revealed to me. That's why I'm crying. Because we never understand Quran. We don't know what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to us. This is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to us, wake up. Now is the time after that when death is came. You have no time. We have to understand what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Our unfortunately, when our uncle, our auntie, our dad, our wife passed away, we open the Quran, we call the people, all of the people come in my in, sit in my house and read Quran. Quran is no for death pupil. Quran is the book of the alive pupil. Quran gives the benefit. To the deaf people as well. For example, your mom and dad passed away. You're reading Surah Yaseen and you say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please this sabab and deed give to my dad or give to my mom. Straight away you get the sabab, your mom and dad. But the Quran is the people which one is alive. Me and you. Me and you. Understand what is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. 53 years in a Makkah and last 10 years in a Medina. He is the seal of the Prophet, he is the king of the Prophet, and he is the lover of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what did he say? He said, every single night, one time came, I'm standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and crying. For salatu tahajjud. He had no sin. He had purity. And we are going to Jannah with the blessing of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But look at the character of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Aisha Sadiqa, our mother, radiallahu ta'ala anha, and she is the wife of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She said, one night I wake up and I show Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is standing on a masalla in a tahajjud and crying and crying and I hear the voice of crying like a child. Yes? And I say to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already gave it to you Jannah. You stayed away going to the Jannah. And you are the first person which one opened the lock of Jannah. Oh, oh Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, why are you crying? You know what did he say? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I do the shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Shukr. I thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, you choose me as a Prophet. Oh Allah, thank you, you choose me as a Prophet. And I am the seal of the Prophet. And I am the first person which one into the Jannah. If the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is doing the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like this, and we are the nation of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is our responsibility? My brother and sister, there is no anything you think you somebody is doing pook and he's going to be half or he's going to be alim. No, you have to do struggle. You have to learn something. And Quran is the sign that is the red traffic light. Stop, read, 
Look and follow. In the day of judgment, Quran is going to be friend with you. Why? Because you're listening to the Quran, you're following the Quran, you're following the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala close with you. When you open your shop, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the blessing inshallah came. When you when you're sitting down, teach your child. How many Allah's? Only one. Who is our Prophet? So many times I'm saying to you, we know that the cricket team plays 11. Every single one we know that. Football team, the, all of the players, our child, alhamdulillah, they have, they put the sticker on top of the fridge. This one is this one, this one is this one, this one is this one. If I say to, if you say to your child as well, what is the four popular companions name after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And our child put the hands down. That is shame for us. Don't think there's a child fault. No. Our fault is. We fault. We teach them everything. When birthday came, yes, PSP, no problem, I give it to you. PlayStation 3, we give it to you. Nintendo V, everything, I give it to you. Mobile phone, I give it to you. Can you, can you tell me something? When your birthday came, did you sit with your child and teach them how many companions? Which one is martyred on the Uhud? Which, which battle the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam lose his teeth? How many years are living in Mecca? How many years are living in Medina? We, we, you know, we know all of the biography of the uh, place, but we don't know what is the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And what is Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala say? This hadith is Qudsi. Hadith is Qudsi. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, In the day of judgment, when you go to the court of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, your feet is stuck in the ground. You can't move. Then the three questions came. You have to give the answers. First question. I give you health. I give you health. Young age. Where do you spend? Where do you spend? With the drugs? With the cigarette? With the suta? Drinking alcohol? Where do you spend your young age? First question. The second question. I give you son or daughter. What do you teach? The third one. I give you knowledge. Did you do the amal as well, practice as well? Three questions for everyone. Now, unfortunately, we are stuck on a first question as well. You know, I'm as a teacher, profession by a teacher, and I complete my degree, everything. But I'm telling you right now, straight away, you know, majority of the people, majority. <coughs> yes, so many parents who are sitting down here, I know that which one child is reading here. And uh, I know that, alhamdulillah, they are very happy. Very happy. I know that, alhamdulillah. If I raise the hand, they say, yeah, alhamdulillah, I'm very happy. My brothers, the reason is, we, mostly people, they get education for degree. Oh, if I get this degree, I go nice job. Oh, if I complete my, what you call it, Islamic education, I got degree, I'm going to be scholar. Yes? Education is never, nothing to do with you if your attention is like this. Seek knowledge for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah is the knowledgeable. Ali, he knows everything. When you read knowledge for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he say, I am everything, but I give you everything. You calling my name Ali? Allah, you knows everything? No problem. I give you the knowledge which one you knows everything as well. Second thing, when we sending the child in the masjid, know for Quran. Spending two hours away from the house. When they done that, the child go back home. Would never say, "Okay, but can you come come near to me? What your teacher teach you? No problem. Bag is over there. Child is on the game. Then in this no in this country, everywhere the problem the parents is only one. You know I can't control my child because we never give the time to the child. Seriously, we never give the time to the child. I never, I never, uh, what you call, is blaming someone, I'm including as well. Who, our responsibility, when the dinner came, sit with your child, talk with your child, nicely, softly. You know, we, uh, the, mostly the dad from Asian is Jalali. Jalali means anger. We show the anger, we're thinking, we anger, the child will be like this, oh, he's okay, he's scared to me. No, don't do that. The scared is take your child away. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa everything, you have to learn something, go back 1400 years ago and 
read the story of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Ans bin Malik, he is the companion of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ten years, he is slave of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is carrying the stuff, so that for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know what did he say? Hadith from Bukhari. He say, I am to give the duty of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ten years. Even they never know one time came the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam showing me the anger. Ten years he never showed the anger. But you know who he? Every single second is anger. If something is broken, anger. Something is happened, anger. Blood pressure. Only the problem is, only the problem is, we are far away the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and far away the message of the Holy Quran. <coughs> that is the main thing which when I lose, if you be soft, be nice, your child nice with you. Sit with your child. Talk with your child. What did she or he say to you? Mostly, mostly, I'm telling you, mostly the parents is showing the anger which one is wrong. I'm so much child is reading here. All, all the time I said, respect your parents, respect your parents, respect your parents. Quran is never give you anything. You read the Quran and you insult your mother. What do you think the Quran give a blessing? No. What, what do you do? Follow the Holy Quran. What is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying to us? Be nice your parents. You do 10 hajj. You are a half the Quran. You are a scholar. You are the biggest man. You are a big businessman. And you are insulting your mother. You are nothing. Don't think you have everything. You are nothing. Mother and father is first opportunity on the Holy Quran. Be nice with your parents. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the order. Suddenly say, respect your parents. Respect your parents. Respect your parents. My brothers, the reason only one who never give the respect over child. <coughs> we have to give the respect over child. Don't act like a uh, when you're coming from our own country. Leave the acting this one. You're living in the Great Britain now. And this is the message of the Holy Quran. And this is the message of Prophet Muhammad. We have to look after yourself, our families. When the Prophet Muhammad said, what did he say? Look after your neighbors as well. Even his Kafir, even his Hindu, even his Christian, even his Jewish. Look after them. This is the message of Islam. And this is the message of Prophet Muhammad. Islam is peaceful. Islam teach peace. There is no any harmless in the, in, the, in the Islam. Look at the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even the Muslim people walking on the street, we know that he's a Muslim. With eyes is like this. You know, is this man? Do you know? Yesterday what he's doing? Correct him. Teach him. Sit with him. There is no responsibility you cussing him. If he's drinking alcohol, what is the bad habit alcohol? His person is good. Sit with him and teach him. Da'wah. Every single nation, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is da'wah. Teach them. Even anyone who is showing the rudeness, who never give the salam to each other, who never spread the Islam to each other, and then after the astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli dhambi, who is the Islam's fault? What is the Islam's fault? The pupil, I'm telling you which one is an unbeliever. They're reading the history of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and accept, accept Islam. And we are by born Muslim, we fall away from Islam. We have to think about it. Myself as well. What is the right path? Where you're sitting down, that is the right path. Islam. To believe in one Allah and follow the command of Allah. And believing the action of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Atiullah wa atiur rasul. Obey Allah and obey Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's command. Why? Because he is talking only, only, only Allah's order. This is the message of Islam. Islam never ever teaches us anything bad. Islam said, look after. Look after each other. When the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is coming from Medina and attacking on Makkah, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he saw one dog and he go some small kids, you know, 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to one companion, you don't want to come to Makkah, look after them. And keep in a safe place. Can you tell me something? If the Prophet of the Mercy, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, look after the cats and dogs, and we are the nation of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what do you think Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never look after us? <laughs> Follow the way or command of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if you need peace. I'm telling you, we need nothing. Only one problem, we're far away from the Quran and far away of the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, Umar ibn Khattab, Umar ibn Khattab, second caliph of Islam. He is the world's strongest man. World's strongest man. In the hadith says, he's got big beard, big eyes. And if you're looking anyone, you're going to be scared because he's Umar, Umar ibn Khattab. And the uh, Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sitting on a Makkah and he's raised the hand. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's two Umars. One Umar is the real name, the uh, nickname is Abu Jahl. Real name is Umar ibn Hasham. And the second Umar, Umar ibn Khattab. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you go two Umars. One Umar give to Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept, accept the dua of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Umar Farooq, Umar ibn Khattab, accept Islam. Did you read the story of Umar Khattab? World's strongest man. He's coming out, the sword in his hand. And you know what did he say? Today, I want to kill Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One person say, why you go to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Go first to your sister and your wife or sister's husband. She or he accept Islam. He changed the way. And go to sister's house. And beat them, beat them, both of them. You accept Islam? He said, yes, I'm accept Islam. He beat, look at the Umar's hand, world's strongest man. He beat his sister. You know what did his sister say? Sister said, Umar, what do you think? If you're going to beat me, I leave the Islam? No way. I'm die on the Islam, but never leave the Islam. I know that you're my brother. If you go blood of Khattab, I go blood of Khattab as well. Go. Carry on. Umar Khattab say, I'm tired, tired, and sit down. Then I say, okay, sister. What do you read in? I want to listen. I want to listen. And sister replied, no. Go do the voodoo. Ablution first. Clean your body first. Then come near to me. Then read. You do the voodoo. Come near to the Quran. First ayah. Straight away gets Umar's heart. Finish. Umar's life is changed. One ayah that changed the life of Umar ibn Khattab. We were reading the whole Quran. But why never change our life? We are bigger than Umar ibn Khattab. He changed the way he started crying, the tears come in his eyes. And when he's walking on the street, go to Prophet Muhammad, he's crying and crying and crying. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sitting down. Has Ali as well, companion as well. And Umar ibn Khattab, he's got soul in his hand as well. And Has Ali saying, Oh Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Umar is king. Umar is king. And he's got soul in his hand. He's enemy. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ali sit down. Oh, Ali sit down. Ali said down, Umar want to accept Islam. He never came to front of yet, far away. Umar want to accept Islam. When Umar come to the near of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abdu wa rasuluh. My brother, think about my youngest brother, what is the things which one is, uh, Umar give, uh, give that choice to accept Islam. What is things? Quran. And the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to wake up. Islam is peaceful. Islam never say to cuss someone. Islam never say to give the hard time to someone. Even the next door neighbor, if it's Hindu, anyone, anyone. Islam is peace. Islam is peace. Look at the Makkah life. Yeah? The people is split on the face of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is the overreaction? Think about it. If somebody do with you and me, what is overreaction? Same. He split, I will split back. Oh, swearing. Oh, angerness. But look at the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He split. You know what did he say? He cleaned. He cleaned that split and go back home. Before he entered the house, the person came. Oh, he said, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I know, I know that I'm doing something bad with you. But can you give me, forgive me? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when you're splitting on my face, before I cleaning, I forgive you. This is the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My brother, it's very easy to say. 53 years in Makkah and last 10 years in Medina. Very easy to say that. Very easy. But can you think about and read that? 
53 is in a Makkah, what the Holy Prophet do? What the people do with the Prophet Muhammad sallam, and what is the action of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? The old lady, which one want to leave the Makkah? He want to leave the Makkah and they're carrying some heavy stuff. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he saw any old, old thing, old lady, they're carrying all the stuff on his own shoulders. Old lady, he say, oh, you know, oh, young boy, I want to leave the Makkah. I don't want to leave the Makkah. The Prophet Muhammad said, we don't know he's the Prophet Muhammad. He said, why you leave the Makkah? The reason is there is a young boy, his name is Muhammad. He's a juggler, he's a joker, and he's a mental nausea billah min zali. Before that, I want to see the face of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I want to leave the Makkah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never say, I know Muhammad. He said, no problem. You carrying some heavy stuff. Can you give it to me? I went, oh, I'm going to help you. Think about it, brothers. That is the life. That is the character of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He take the whole of the heavy, heavy stuff in the shoulders and the woman is walking behind and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the front. When the journey is finished, journey is finished, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you know, uh, uh, the old lady say, I'll give you one advice. What is the advice? Don't go too close to Muhammad. When you go too close to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you're going to be accept Islam. Don't, that is my advice to you. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, oh old lady, you know, which person you're talking about, he's standing in front of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's standing in front of you. I'm Muhammad. The hadith say, few seconds, the old lady is quiet. After they say, if you is Muhammad, then ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad al abduh wa rasul. This is the character of the Prophet Muhammad. You know, we do the Umrah and Hajj, you know, we're happy we go for Umrah. You know, I swear to Almighty Allah. When I so see the Kaaba, I'm thinking the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa This is the Kaaba, and the people is cussing, torching, swearing. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi family, his wife, his daughters. But he never say anything. He never say anything. My brothers, if there is a Kaaba, only the one reason the sake of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi What is the Kaaba? 360 idols inside. Who cleaned there? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Hajar Yaswad is black stone. It's coming from Jannah. As Umar Farooq say, Oh stone, I know that you never give me any benefit. I don't want to kiss you. You just stone. You know why I'm kissing you? Only the reason is because our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is kissing you. Subhanallah. Sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My brother, think about it. Think about it. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us? What is our responsibilities? Be practical Muslim. Be practical Muslim. You know, we're living in Great Britain. Alhamdulillah, this is our country. We're living here. You're British, Alhamdulillah. You go passport. Look after it. Your neighbors, you know, if you look after it, maybe after they accept Islam. Is it Muslim is like this? This is the character of Muslim people? You know, I know that that story. One day, the wine bottle is on the road, on the street. And I am just carrying that and putting the in the corner. One person, white person came, he said, thank you very much, and I, I like that. You know, I, I feel proudly that I'm done something good job. This is the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Show them mercy, then we are peaceful. Peaceful. I'm telling you only the one reason, nothing else. We are very great. Our Quran is great, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is great, our Allah is great. But we know, we have to change our habits. And go back 1,400 years back, the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everything in there. If you want to be a good husband, go back. If you want to be a good dad, go back. If you want to be a good student, go back. If you, if you want to be a good husband, go back. Learn the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Aisha Sadiqa, she is the wife of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is our mother as well. Just think about it now. Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is walking with Hazrat Aisha Sadiqa. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Aisha, let's go for running. Run, competition. Can you tell me something? If any alim is doing the running with his wife, you say the alim is a mentor. He's no alim. Look at him. And look at the life of Prophet Muhammad. He said to the companion, Oh, companion, you all of them go forward. 
all of the companions go forward. Prophet Muhammad says, Aisha, stand here. You make the line. Don't put the feet on the front. Here, start running. Competition. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Hazrat Aisha Sadiqa Taiba Tahira, she is the wife of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu start running. Hazrat Aisha Sadiqa is winning. Winning in the race. And Hazrat Aisha is laughing. He said, Prophet Muhammad said, look at that. I'm stronger than you. That is, that is the love to create the relationship. Now, few years after, Hazrat Aisha Sadiqa, our mother, the wife of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Aisha, you want to race again? As Aisha said, no problem. You put the line. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his wife, Hazrat Aisha Sadiqa, over mother, standing on the one place, start running. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, winning. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saying, now is equal. First time you win, this time I'm winning. That is the love. The between husband and wife. We need only love. And Islam, what does Islam mean? Peace. Give the peace, take the peace. वो कहते हैं जियो और जीने दो। इसी का नाम इस्लाम। आज आप देख लें, माँ बेटे से दूर है, बेटा माँ से दूर हुआ हुआ है, चाचा ताया, relationship में हमारे क्या हुआ हुआ है? यही झगड़ा है। क्या मसला क्या है? हम इस्लाम से दूर हो गए। हम दुआ करते हैं कि अल्लाह रब्बुल इज़्ज़त हमें ताज़दारे कायनात اللہ پاک ہمیں اسلام پر چلنے کی توفیق نصیب فرمائے وہ اسلام پر ہی ہمیں موت نصیب فرمائے وہ آخر دعوانا الحمدللہ رب العالمین سنتے عطا فرمائے ازان حاجی صاحب دیں گے بیٹھیں ہیں ازان ہونی ہے اس کے بعد سنتے ہیں